Uh, we're going to start a fresh one because there's no point in having mine up. So, official trade site, because if you're using poe.trade still, it's outdated and you're wrong. Change. Jewel. Doesn't really matter if we pick any Abyss Jewel or any Jewel. Doesn't really matter because we're going to list Abyss Jewel properties anyway. So, can't exists. So, first thing we want, we know we want and have to have a life roll. I'm going to say I want a life roll of 30. Has to happen. If you don't have 30 flat life, I'm not interested. Obviously, if you don't care about life, you can bypass that. So now we're going to add a different stat group. And I'm going to add this one as weighted sum. Now, I'll get to why in a moment. So for this one, we're doing a warp build that's... Uh, Basically, Zizarin's warp build is what we're doing. So we know we want cold damage to spells. This one. And we want cold damage to spells while holding a shield. These I'm going to wait at one since we're scaling that kind of damage. So each one is worth one. Now we know we'll take fire damage to spells. We know we'll take fire damage to spells while holding a shield. We know we'll take lightning damage to spells. And we know we'll take lightning damage to spells while holding a shield. Now, I don't usually look up exactly what the weight should be. I generally just guess. Most of the scaling on that build is elemental damage, not specifically colder damage. So realistically, these are all pretty close, even though it's mostly a cold spell. You can pretty much just say the cold is worth ever so slightly more, but that everything else counts. You could add physical here as well. Uh, I choose not to because I, I want to be able to run Fizz Reflect maps and if I get decent Fizz rolls on every one of my jewels by coincidence for a build like this, then it might be enough that it affects me when I'm trying to do Reflect Fizz. But probably don't care. Uh, but we can do Chaos Damage to Spells. And we can do Chaos damage to spells while holding a shield. This we're not scaling at all. So while it exists, I'm weighting it at half. Meaning I would need two chaos damage to equal one cold damage on the jewel. That would be worth the same to me. So I'm still counting it, but since we don't scale it at all on the tree, I'm giving it less weight in the search. Now you can say, I would like a minimum of 20 damage on my jewel. And then you can just straight up hit search. And now you'll see there's a buttload of them. 20, far too small. So now we can go, let's say 30 and see how much that does. Now we're in 10 C jewels instead. So that's brilliant. So now we can decide we never want to pay more than 50 chaos for a single jewel. So we put 50 chaos or equivalent, max, hit search again. We're down to 26 results now. Now this button here at the bottom, sum, gives you the total added damage with your weighted sums. So we click it to organize via total weighted sums. And now we get the best deals with the most amount of damage in our price range. So we've capped it at 50. You can cap it at whatever your price is. If you only want to pay 10, cap it at 10. Cap it at whatever you can afford. Press the sum, and now you see the highest amount of damage that you can get on a jewel inside your price range. Now, that's one thing, and I will link that one. 
No, you could not use that and not on lightning on your ring. The lightning on the ring is different. Um, right, so I linked that for you. Um, however, you can do something else too. When you decide you want, you need that one jewel with onslaught. Chance to gain onslaught. Now, the real problem with that is uh, one of these is the abyssal jewel one, and the other one is not. And I always forget which one's which. Um, so we'll go with the top one. And we'll just we'll just lower this to 10 just for the sake of it. If it says there are none. Yeah, it says there are none. Okay, so that's the wrong. So it's the second one. Those are actually different mods. Ooh. Really? Are there none? That can't be right. Hello? Ah, uh, you can't get them on hypnotics. Okay. Well, other things that you can get, you put in here. Other things that you want, you put in here. So, one of the good things for a hypnotic jewel. Oh, which ones are those? Hinder. Hinder is a nice thing, if you were to want something like that. If you were to decide you wanted a hinder, where do we have it? Your spells. There it is. So you could do something like that. You could always put the ones you have to have in the normal search. And now every jewel has to have a chance to hinder and has to have a life roll. But we can still organize by the most amount of damage that we can get within our 50 chaos budget that also has the two things we absolutely must have. So now you can see I can only get 26 damage as the best one with a hinder chance on it. <clears throat> that's inside that price range that's currently online. Surely if we go up to 150 chaos, we'll end up with a much better one. 32, it's got two damage rolls and a hinder. Still not great, great. <clears throat> so that's how we add just little extra things that we want. Um, same thing if you decided that you wanted one jewel that was... Ooh. Cannot be inflicted. Now let's get rid of this. If you wanted to see if there was one up that had any life and any amount of damage. So I can tell there are none online. Because all I did there was I removed the minimum, but wanted it to still show me the weighted sum so I could sort. But I want one with 25 life and corrupted blood. So now I know there are none for sale right now. Online, none. Though it doesn't exist. So... That's a bit sad, but the only thing it had to have on it was life and corrupting blood. So now we know what those things are. Um, the other thing that we can use, the other thing that we can use to do good um, searches, so... We will get rid of all of these now. This is the weighted sum category. We're just going to fuck that off. Now we can do count. Now there are different things. This is for not a war build. This is just for any kind of build, right? I'm doing, I'm doing any kind of build and I've decided that I want a corrupting blood jewel. That's the instance that I'm giving. I need a corrupting blood jewel. So I'm going to say any jewel must have corrupted blood. So it's on and. Still, must have corrupted blood cannot be inflicted on you. Now, I can also say count one and then have either maximum life of at least, let's say, 25 or life percentage of at least 5%. So that's count one. So I'm saying any jewel. And I'm saying now that if it's an abyss jewel, it must have flat life. And if it's a, a different jewel, it must have 
the, the regular normie jewels must have percent life. So now I've been very unpicky. I just want life and cannot be inflicted. So now it shows up both because it must have either flat or percent and the corrupting blood implicit. Then you can start adding extra things in. Then you can start doing things like, can I have another count group where I want at least one of either hinder, uh, where is it? Uh, percent chance to hinder with spells or blind. Let's say somehow I'm hitting and spell casting at the same time and I could blind or maim or hinder or phasing or some other useful thing. Um, we're even just going to say, um, or at least 10 elemental resistance um, and then search. Now we only have to have one of those things. So now we've found the cheapest jewel with some resistance, some life. Corrupted blood cannot be affected. Now you can go further than this when you want to be really picky and you could add back in your weighted sum count and you could add all of those up again the same way and you could still have the sum button at the bottom and you could be very, very specific about what you're looking for. You can end up with you can end up with two or three of these count one clauses where you end up needing, I would like either this or this, either that or that, any combination of these. Um, you can go further and do things like on a regular jewel, you can have things like, oh, all the things that could affect me. Uh, elemental damage percentage. Uh, fire damage. I've decided that this is a righteous fire build at some point. Uh, burning damage. Um, damage over time. Damage. Just increased damage. And minions deal percent increased damage because we've got the minion node on the tree i've decided and then you can be like uh not weighted some count hmm let's get rid of this one uh, let's say i want my jewel we don't have to change this because we've already ruled it out if we only want one of these for our righteous fire build can that be done yes what happens if we want two of them can that be done Yes. So now you've got any two things from this list, any two from this list, one from this list, and has to have this. And now you see that there is one with burning damage, fire damage, life, and corrupted blood cannot be inflicted. All right. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Um, so just play around with those. Remember that the sum, the weighted sum and the count functions exist. And if you have to look them up on PoEDB, look them up on PoED, find out what all the mods are that could affect you. And then just set your limit. If your limit was 50 chaos, you would find nothing. Because that jewel was 4x. And even if you went down to one on this particular jewel, probably find nothing as the cheapest one of this good one was 1.2x but done